Hi everyone and welcome to Explore Hop. In this video, we're going to be simplifying this equation. Our first step is to find the greatest common factor. So that means we need to find what each of these polynomials are able to divide out of itself. If we look closely, we see that each of these polynomials all have the variable a in them. Therefore, that's going to be part of our greatest common factor. Another thing that every polynomial is able to divide out of is 2. 4 is divisible by 2, 10 and 6 are all divisible by 2. Therefore, our greatest common factor is 2a because we see that b is not in each of these polynomials and c is not found in each of these polynomials. So let's first write our greatest common factor on the outside of the bracket and we start dividing. 4 divided by 2 equals 2 and a divided by a cancels out, so we're left with 2bc. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. a divided by a cancels out, and we're left with 5c. Negative 6 divided by 2 equals negative 3. Make sure you include the signs when you're dividing. And a cubed divided by a to the power of 1 will give us a squared if we remember our uh, law of indices. And last but not least, positive 4 divided by positive 2 equals positive 2. a squared divided by a to the power of 1 equals a. And we're left with b. Now inside, when you're checking, you should always make sure that you don't have any more like terms in the brackets. In my case, there are no like terms left. But if you want to give a more proper answer, you should always remember to reorder the polynomials inside the brackets. And remember, when we're ordering polynomials, we should always order them by priority of power. So in this case, the highest power will be a squared. So we're going to put that polynomial at the beginning. And then it's going to be done alphabetically. So the next prioritized polynomial should be 2ab, and then 2bc, and last but not least, 5c. And there you have it. That's your final answer. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video.